Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will be going over the STEM Up Skills Needs Assessment form guiding you through the whole process. We first start off with section 1 which is going to ask us some personal details such as our forename, our surname, our email address In your case, the email address that you would be entering here will be your university email address. We then move on to entering our phone number. And finally, entering our date of birth. We then move on to entering the details of where we live. So in this um, field here, you want to be entering the full postcode that you live at. Once you've entered that, you can simply click on the lookup button and you will see all the available addresses at that postcode appear. So from here, you want to be selecting the address you live at. And you will notice that these fields here will be automatically filled once you have selected your address. We then move on to section two, which is the employment status. So from this drop down menu, we're going to get presented with some options. So if you're employed, current student, unemployed or underemployed. So from here, you want to be applying the one that um, applies to you. So if you're a current student, it's going to go ahead and ask some details about your university. So the university that you attend. The subject area. and the year of study. So if you're first year, second year, third year, or masters or postgraduate student. We then move on to section three, which is gonna ask us about the highest level of qualification that we obtain. Again, from this drop down menu, you're gonna get presented with some options. And from here, you can select the one that applies to you. We then move on to the final section, which is section four. And this one is about evidence of right to work. So from here, it's going to ask us, do we have the legal rights to work in the UK? Yes or no. And from here, you want to be selecting the options that apply to you. We then want to go ahead and provide some sort of evidence. So again, from this drop down menu here, we're going to get given the options of the ways that we can provide evidence, whether that's in form of a passport, birth certificate, residency permit or something else. So from here, you want to be selecting the type of um, evidence that you want to upload and from here where it says upload evidence you want to be actually uploading that evidence so if you've selected full passport ensure that you um, attach a full copy of your passport here before moving on to the next section once you have uploaded your evidence and you have filled in all these fields that you can then go ahead and click next and proceed to the next section. In section five, you will be rating your STEM skills with one being that you have not developed this skill at all yet and four being that you have fully developed this skill. What you want to do is you want to work through every single one of these STEM skills and provide a rating of what you think and how much you think you have developed this skill. You also want to be providing a score and rating of how relevant you think this STEM skill is to your career aspirations as well. You want to go ahead and do this for all the STEM skills in section five and all of the soft skills in section six. And finally, all of the STEM skills again in section seven as well. Once you have filled in sections five, six and seven, you can go ahead and click on next and move on to the next stage. In section nine, you will be asked some equal opportunities questions. You can go ahead and answer these questions if you wish to. However, this section is not mandatory. You can simply skip this section if you do not wish to answer it by simply clicking on this tick box here 
that states that you do not wish to complete this section. You can then go ahead and proceed to go to section 10. In section 10, in this field here, you want to enter this exact name. In this field here, you want to enter your full name. And in this box here, you want to enter your digital signature. Once you've done that, you're ready to submit your application.